Guys, I'm going to give a great testimony. I want to give that testimony. It was Mother's Day. There was a guy who stayed like, you know, I stayed like on the road like that. And in front of me, there is like a, a road that go municipality road that goes to his house, like completely, you know, at the end. You know, I'm doing this testimony. As I was doing this testimony, my mother started being bad to me and I have to shift my place and come here because the devil don't want me to share this message. You know, that guy, he's so bad. He's been insulting my mind my brother my father and myself he's been saying foul language to me i go and see the police i know that they will not do anything but i kept quiet so on mother's day i i came back from a place i have to 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 put my four by four in this small entry so that i go inside my house that guy every time he's saying foul language to me i kept quiet then that day, he, when I put my 4x4 four four to enter, I, I go out of my 4x4 four four to open the door. That guy is coming. When he's coming, he said, do I need to wait for you here? Get out of here. You know, he's talking like this with me. So I went and opened the door and I came back. When I was coming back to enter my 4x4, four four, he take his car. He said, I will crush you. And he came in front of me so that I don't enter my 4x4. Four four. He said, I will, I will crush your, your transport. He will crush my car. And then when I'm coming to go inside my car, uh, he came in front of me so that I don't enter my, my transport. Yeah, I know if I will go and see the police, the police wouldn't do anything. So this is what I did. I prayed. And he know if he stay here, I cannot, he will not go, go inside. So he came back and he and his wife was saying so many bad things to me. So I entered my four by four and then I started praying because he used to say, he said so many foul language to me. I prayed for him, for his wife, for his, for his children, for his mother. See, God is great. God is your protector. Don't forget to pray to your God. Our Father Israel, Jesus, Father of Israel, Jesus, and Holy Spirit of God, Jehovah, they are our fighter. Yeah, God fight for us. So now, I was so angry, I called the police, and because he went to his mother-in-law place, so he was not, the police could not come. So I went and I prayed. See, you know what I've been doing? The next day, there was one of his neighbor that he's very good with that neighbor, right? So that neighbor, he did a construction that day, you know? Like at night, he went to his mother-in-law. On the next day when he came, he could not go inside his house for one whole day. So God did this neighbor like like put something in the mind of this neighbor this neighbor put cement in front of this entry so he could not go inside his house the whole time now i was very happy i was very happy so then when he's going back you know he's going back he cannot go inside because he cannot talk with men he can talk only with women and he's been insulting me again and again and again you know this is a neighbor now he couldn't go inside his house the whole day right because god made that neighbor put cement in front of that road so that he couldn't go out so the whole day he couldn't go inside his house god is good <laughs> god is good now when he was going back i saw he met with an accident at the back of his car you know he met with an accident then many people will say oh you have to forgive yeah I can forgive, but if somebody's coming inside my house to kill me and my family, are you going to forgive or you will fight? God say, go and look at your Bible. I will make your enemy your footstool. He will, they will be at your feet. So don't be scared, Christian. Your father, Israel, Jesus and Holy Spirit is fighting for you. That man, he's still in my prayer. I'm still praying for him. Yeah, I'm praying. 
you know, you don't know who you are fighting with. You don't know that person. Don't, don't come and just fight with anybody, especially if you have children. Beware, look at your children properly. Be good to people because your children will, God is going to fight you and your children and your generation if you don't listen to what you are saying with whom you are fighting with. So that man, he met with an accident. Plus, he couldn't go inside his house the whole day because my God did it. Oh my God, this is the testimony I want to share. All your enemy, put it in God's hand. God will make them their, your footstool. Do what you want. Do what you want. This guy, he came under my feet. And I'm still praying for him. So continue to fight. Continue to say foul language. I'm still praying. Whoever pray, eh, God is not going to let you like that. You need to know who you are fighting with. Christian, do not be scared. If someone is fighting you, pray and you will see. Touch the anointed one of God. You are touching the eyeball of God and, and God has pain. He will not let you like that. He likes drinking a lot, a lot of alcohol. So many times he said foul language. So with other neighbor, he's not like that. Only with me and my family. You know, these people that are, oh my God, like maybe jealousy. I'm not sure what's his problem. Lot of alcohol. And you know, this uh, road that where I have to remove my four by four, it is a municipality road. So we can just go out two minutes. Not even two minutes. There's so many people will say, yes, you have to forgive. So what happens if somebody is coming inside to stab you and your family, kill your children, kill you? You look at that person. No, you fight back. God say he will go and read the Bible. God say he will, God say he will make your enemy be under your feet. Pray. I pray for his whole generation and himself. Pray for him, his wife and his whole generation and his children. You know, I know this is a testimony I should do because when I started doing this video, my mother started getting like irritated, like the devil possesses her body, right, to, to come against me. So I have to shift and come to my house to do this video. You know, he's scared to talk with men. He talk only with women, especially my family. He always have a problem with my family. You don't think you have children. You just go and fight with anyone that you want. Be cautious. So the guy, he also got an accident. And at the back of the car, it's damaged. 